Good evening. Immediately you join, you share because we'll have a lot to talk about tonight. Immediately you join, you start sharing in all the groups, WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, all the groups. Immediately you join, start sharing. We have a lot that we need to talk about tonight, especially if you are from Zambia. We have a lot and a lot that we have to discuss tonight. So start sharing. Immediately you join. In all the groups, I greet you all the Jagabans that are joining already in thousands. Start sharing now in all the groups like I'm doing now. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Jagabans all over the world. Good evening. Zambia, Nigeria, Botswana, South Africa. Good evening. Anywhere you are watching from all over the world. If you have joined, start sharing quickly. It's very important. We have a very important night tonight, you know. We have a lot that we have to discuss tonight. And remember, this is a political... It is going to be a political broadcast. So if you are a cadre, you know, they have already given you a few quatches to buy data to insult me. You can start insulting. There is no problem. But make sure you, you hear what I want to expose tonight. You listen and hear how the governor was fired and why the governor was fired and so many other things. So if you are a cadre, you can start insulting in advance because there is a lot. I'm also going to insult so you can you can start because I'm sharing in the groups. There are so many groups where uh, I, I belong, uh, diaspora groups, they are all waiting. I'm sharing, so start sharing also in your groups, on your wall, share everywhere. Let everyone know that see one is live. Jagabans. Are you sure? I'm going to be brief tonight. I'm not going to waste your time. I was given only but one hour to speak tonight, but I may not even reach one hour. I want to be very brief, and uh, because I have, I'm going to Johannesburg again. I was there today. I'm going back there. Uh, First thing tomorrow morning, so I have to sleep because it's far. <laughs> it's a far distance journey. <laughs> uh -huh. Make sure that once you turn in, you share in all the groups on WhatsApp. Share in all the groups on your on your on on Facebook everywhere. Let people know that see one is live. 
let me share with you something that is happening in Zambia right now as we are talking. Glory. Okay, first of all, I want to thank everyone, all the people in a, in, a, in all the people that are uh, following me from all over the world. You know, your encouragement has been so big; it has been so marvelous. You encourage me a lot. You know, you 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 bless my soul. You you speak to me and telling me, see, I want we appreciate the truth that you are saying. Many people are saying. See a one, you know, of all the whole prophet on earth, I've never heard a person that says the truth like you say. See a one, you know, there are so many good messages that you send to me from all over the world. I want to say thank you so much for all those nice messages, for all those encouragement that you are sending to me. I want to thank all the people, you know, that blessed me on my birthday, like I said during the broadcast of my birthday i've received a whole lot of gift a lot of money a lot of things you know you have blessed me more than i can imagine i want to say thank you so much for showing love to me and for loving me and i love you more i want to say that uh, jagabans from all over the world we are people that uh, don't care about what people say we are people that we are strong people. We are we are careless people. We we do what we want and we'll say what we want to say so long as what we are saying is the truth. So I want to say thank you, thank you so much. All of you that join this broadcast each time that I'm live. I want to say God bless you. Look at we are less than 10 minutes. It's already thousand over five thousand people have turned in. Anytime I'm live, is is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people that turn in to watch. I want to say that I love you. You have been hearing the truth. You have been putting the truth in practice. Some of the messages I received say, see, one since we started following you, we're able to see what our government is doing. We're able to see how government is looting our money. We're able to know how to be confident, you know. Think a lot of things have changed. Our mindset have changed since we started following CR1, since we started, since we became Jagabans. I want to say thank you. And the best is yet to come. We asked, there is a lot and a lot that we need to talk. There is a lot and a lot that we need to hear. I want to say thank you so much. And I want to say God bless you. Before we proceed, I want to make it clear that I don't have any representative in Zambia. Every day, people are losing thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands of money. Not only in Zambia, but all over the world. People are losing money. People are losing a lot of money because of CR1. People say, give me this money. I connect you to CR1. I am agent for CR1. I don't have any agent anywhere in the world. I do not have any representative anywhere in the world. If you want to talk to CR1, if you want CR1 to do anything for you, if you want to hear about the product, the, the do as I say, the ring and so on and so forth. There is only one number that you are going to write. You must write, not calling. Write that number on WhatsApp, which is the number that I've pinned here. The number that I've pinned here, plus 278-993-5144. That is the only number that I have. For, 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 for the past few months, I'm hearing people talking about ring, 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 ring. Even young children are, are writing me saying we want to ring. 
people who don't who who, who are still sucking breast. See, I want to want the ring. See, I want to want the ring. See, I want to want the ring. People are paying thousands of money to scammers all over the world. Scammers in Zambia. We are going to give you the ring. The ring is not for kids. It has a lot of things that come with it. That's why many of you are in a hess. You get it. <laughs> I give it to you. You don't follow the rules and regulations and you die. And people say, see, one is a satan. See, one is this. Everything that has advantage has disadvantage. That's why it's not given to fools. It's not given to young children. It's not given to babies. Even the product, they do as I say product. It's not for everyone. It's not for everybody. That's why you are losing thousands upon thousands upon thousands to scammers. Please, stop sending your money to scammers. I don't have any agent or representative in Zambia. People up to today, people are losing money to Zambia. No, uh, 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 people create fake Facebook account, especially from PF camp, PF cadres. They create fake Facebook account using my picture, using my name, using exactly what I do. When I post picture, they collect it. And they are using it to scam thousands of people from all over the world. I don't have any representative. Don't send money to anybody. If you want any product, if you want to know anything about Jagaban, if you want any, do as I say. My number is here on the screen. I've put it there. I've pinned it there. You write me a message on WhatsApp. Say, see, I want, I want this. I examine you to check if you can be able to have it. It's not what you wake up, you give everybody. The people that are using those rings, ask them, they will tell you. It's not what you wake up. It's not what every gym and jack will wake up and say, I want. Please, be very careful. I am a, pers a person of frankness. I am a person of truth. I don't want to put you in trouble. So be careful. Be very, very careful as you deal with scammers. Be very careful. Now, as we proceed, I want to commend Davis Mwila. Look, I am a man of truth. I don't compromise. I don't lie in my life. I, I, I say the truth because I fear nothing, because I love the truth. I want to commend David Mwila for suspending JJ. I want to commend David Mwila of Patriotic Front of Zambia for suspending JJ. I have read the, uh, the suspension letter and I want to commend him for suspending JJ. When you do good, see I one praise you. When you do bad, see I one will tell you that you have done bad. Look, if whether it's a planned suspension, a fake suspension, a, a, a white elephant suspension, so long as he has been suspended, I want to commend you for that. Whether it's a fake one, you planned it all. You want to blind the people of Zambia. That one is your concern. But so long as you have stepped up and say, I have suspended you. I want to commend you. David Miller of PF, the, the, the CEO of PF. I want to commend you for suspending JJ because JJ is a criminal. He's, he's a criminal, you know. And the criminal must not be tolerated in, this, in the society. You know, we give honor to who honor is due. We we'll clap where we're supposed to clap and talk where we are not supposed to talk. I said it before and I'm saying it again. Whether it's a fake, uh, whether it's a fake uh, 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 suspension, you want to blind the people of Zambia, so long as suspension has taken place, it's good. You have done well. I commend you, David, uh, David Miller. And I want to tell you to continue. Continue doing it. There are a lot of criminals in PF. A whole lot and a lot of criminals in PF that you need to work on. A lot of them, there, there are still thousands of them. Majority of PF uh, uh, members are criminals. So you must continue your suspension. It shouldn't end on JJ. But this is a shame to Zambian police. This is a disgrace to Zambian police. I want to read something for you. I want to read something for you. I know many of you 
saw the suspension letter. Let me read it out for you. For those of you who didn't see the suspension letter, let me go to Mwebantu News Media to find the 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 the, 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 the suspension letter. You can go and read it from. Uh, there is is there. I think it's there on Watchdog. It's there on other uh, other media platform. It's it's there everywhere. But let me read for you. Let me read for you. Uh, the suspension letter. What the suspension letter reads. This is the suspension letter. For those of you who don't know it, this is it. Listen. Somebody saying talk about Zambian, the Bank of Zambia governor. That is the that is uh, the topic for tonight. What I'm saying is not even the topic. I just want to uh, run you through something before. We go into Bank of Zambia, Governor. That is our topic for today. But let's read. Listen to what the suspension letter wrote. The suspension letter says, R.E. Suspension yourself. It has come to my attention that you have been accused of stoning Lusaka Central Police. That is criminality. <laughs> <laughs> Central Police Station, where it is alleged that you beat up some unsuspected officers on duty. A cadre was beating police officers, not on the road, but right in the nose, right in the center, in the heart of police. This is what Davis Muller wrote. Beating on, a, on the uh, unsuspecting police officers on duty, getting away with undisclosed amount of money belonging to one of them. This boy, after beating the police, harassing the police, he took money from the police. He stole money from the police. This is called aggravated robbery. JJ is a criminal. It's an idiot. JJ is a fool. He's supposed to be in prison as we are talking now. This is from Patriotic Front. This is not from UPND or from CIA1 or NDC or, 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 or Nefas Mumba. This is coming from Patriotic Front. He said JJ beat up the police, the police officers and stole money from them. And it is alleged that there was illegal procession in Chipata. In view of the above, in view of the above subsequent criminal charges that have been leveled against you by Zambia police, I found you uh, I found your alleged uh, alleged conduct in breach of Article Article 75, Regulation 29. C and F of the party constitution. I therefore suspend you from your office and give you 14 days to escapate yourself. Why further disciplinary action should not be taken against you? Kindly hand over all property, if any, that may be in your position to the Patriotic Front Secret Secretariat. Why on suspension? This letter is signed by the Secretary General, Mr. Davis Mueller. Now, look at this. See this. See this. This boy, this criminal judge, went to police station, stunning the police station, beating up the police officers, and stealing money from police officers <laughs> and this boy ran away from there nothing was done to him now my question is this zambia police according to you the charge that you gave to judge few weeks ago you said he he, he he has been charged with a criminal intent of stealing patriotic front is saying he already stole, alleged he stole. <laughs> Can you see 
That's why I, I have always encouraged you, if you are a police officer or you find yourself working in an institution owned by the government, try to be very, very principled so that you are not misused by cadres. The same PF that have misused uh, the police, the same PF that have commanded the police to give a fake charge to JJ are the same ones that turn around and gave JJ charges of robbery. Police is saying he did not rob. He was having intention to rob. <laughs> According to police, I read the statement. Patriotic Front is saying it's alleged that you robbed the police and beat up the police. At the end of every day, a cadre had the audacity to walk into police town, police station, start beating up the police, start stoning the police, and start stealing money from the police. And police left him. He has ran away. Zambia police, you are a disgrace. For allowing patriotic front to use you, you are a disgrace in Africa. See what PF has done to you. PF have this tendency of using people, of using institutions, and dump them at the end of the day. For example, as we are talking now, they have used a, a police, they have used the police, and they have dumped them. Why the police is saying there was no robbery? It is uh, an intention to steal. Patriotic Front is saying there was robbery. They have used you. They have dumped you. Your name has been dented in, in, in the eyes of Zambians. It doesn't concern PF. PF, they know how to play this game. They will use you and they will dump you. I want to tell you, uh, Kanganja, Mr. Kanganja, start building a legacy for yourself. Start building a legacy for yourself. You are aware that JJ came into your police station, beat up your boys, stole money from your boys, and they ran away. And you have tweeted the story. The story is twisted. Now, Patriotic Front has come on board and said, yes, it happened. And they have suspended the criminal. Who is now to be blamed? Who is now ashamed? Is it the people of Zambia? Is it the PF or is it the police? It's the police because you forgot to do your work. You abandoned your work and became a cadre. You became cadres for patriotic fronts. The people you are defending are the people that have turned around against you. That's why I commend uh, Davis Muela for doing this thing so that Zambian people will see that even Zambian police have joined to become a disgrace. They are told what to do. They don't know their job. If they have released JJ, a criminal, a criminal, an idiotic criminal, a local champion criminal, if they release him to go scot-free, and he has gone scot-free, and the party has turned around and said, hey, we are suspending you for your criminal activity. Who is to be blamed? Who is ashamed? It's shame to Zambian police. Zambia police, I want you to open your eyes starting from today going on. Don't be cadres. Don't allow Edigalungu to use you. Eddie Galungu has messed up everything. Eddie Galungu is a user. Once Eddie Galungu uses you, he will dump you. Eddie Galungu is not faithful. Eddie Galungu is a user. He will use you and he will dump you. He will use you and throw you away. Just like the way he has used the Zambian police. JJ has been released. A criminal was released. Right down, deep inside the police officer's heart, they know that JJ is a criminal. A person that had the audacity to go to police station, not branches, but by the headquarters, central police, to beat up the police. Are you telling me it's not a criminal? And he committed what is called an aggravated robbery. Aggravated robbery under the constitution of Zambia is a non bailable offense. You don't Oh, you don't you don't bail someone that committed an aggra aggravated uh, 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 robbery under the constitution of Zambia. Once you commit an aggravated robbery, you are going in. JJ was released by the police, saying he was having intention to steal. That's what the police was saying. Police of Zambia is rotten. Police of Zambia is rotten. Under the leadership of Kanganja, police of Zambia is now a laughing stock. It's rotten. There is no integrity left. 
If a criminal will walk into the police station and beat up the police, how safe are Zambian people? How safe are ordinary Zambian citizens? Those ones that don't have guns. Those ones that cannot protect themselves. If a criminal can walk into the headquarters and beat up the police, how safe are it ordinary people of Zambia? It means they are not safe. It means they are not safe. In pol right in the center, even if there are corruption all over the world, it can never happen, even if you are Osama Bin Laden, it can never happen that a, a criminal, a cadre, can go to a police station, not even branches, by the headquarters and beat up the police and go scot-free. But it has happened under the leadership of Edi Galungu in PF in Zambia today. And that guy is roaming the street for free. That guy is all over for free. It's not what the constitution of Zambia says. I lived in Zambia. I read the constitution. I know the constitution. I have lived in many countries all over the world. I know their constitution. I know the constitution of the United Nations. The constitution of Zambia says, once an aggravated robbery is committed, there is no bail for such a criminal. Why did you give judge a bail? Police station, the Zambia police. Now we are saying it was not a robbery. PF Patriotic Front are saying it that it was a robbery. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you uh, give him bail? Why did you give JJ bail? It's to show that Zambian police has lost integrity completely. There is no integrity in Zambian police. People of Zambia have lost faith in Zambian police because Kanganja is a kada. He cannot do anything unless he's commanded to do it. He fears the kadas more than himself may i remind you that you were not put in office to protect pf you are put in office to protect the people of zambia why are you allowing pf to use you like a tissue paper today they tell you to release jj you release jj they turn around and say jj committed a robbery and you, you, I, where you are now are you not ashamed of yourself kanganja are you not ashamed of yourself Mr. Kanganja, are you not ashamed of yourself that the, 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 the criminal, JJ, the criminal that you released has been suspended from the party because he's a criminal? I am not the one that labeled him a criminal. Read the, the suspension letter that was written to him by the PF themselves, the, the, the government, the letter they wrote to him because of criminal activity. You, you set him free and ask him to go back. In a normal country, in a normal country, in a normal democratic country, country that obeys the law, country that obeys the constitution, judge is supposed to be snoring in prison now. Imagine if it was a, 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 a UPND cadre that went to the station to beat up the police. Where do you think that person was going to be today? Ask yourself, Kanganja, I'm asking you. If it was a UPN decada that came to your office and beat up your boys and steal, steal their money, where would they be? You are a disgrace to Zambian police service. I lived in Zambia almost half of my life. I spent a year in Zambia. You are the worst IG. You are a coward. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You are the greatest coward. I was there. Stella Libongani was more of a man more than you. Stella Libongan was more of a man more than you. All those uh, uh, Solomon Jere was a man more than you. You are a coward, Kanganja. You allow PF to use you like tissue paper. And today they have turned around. The same decision you made and set JJ free. They have turned around and said JJ is a criminal. Are you not ashamed of yourself, sir? Eh? For how long are you going to sit down and allow PF to control you like babies? Rise up. Zambia belongs to you. You were employed to defend the people of Zambia. If you are so weak, if your police service is so weak to defend yourself in your own bedroom, in your own central police station, how are you going to defend people that are being robbed in PHI? People that are being robbed in Kablonga? People that are being robbed in Kitwe. If you are failing to defend yourself from ordinary cadres, how are you going to defend ordinary citizens there by the street? You are a shun 
to Zambia police. I lived in Zambia. My life, Zambia is part of my life. I have seen IGs. You are the worst IG since I started uh, following the politics of Zambia. Since the life I spent in Zambia, you are the worst because you are a coward. You are not a man. You must be examined. They must check whether there is something in between your leg or you are just some, something, some, something, something there because you don't behave like a man. You are wearing trouser for nothing, Kanganja. You are wearing trouser for nothing. The trouser you are wearing is useless because if a whole IG can be, your, your police command can be intimidated by an ordinary cadre, then you are nothing. Stella is far more in the regime of Stella, such rubbish was not going to happen. In the regime of, in the regime of Solomon Jerry, such rubbish was not going to happen. You are wearing trousers for nothing, Kanganja. You are not a man. You are not a man. For allowing PF cadres, ordinary idiot, JJ, a local champion in Chipata. Eh? A local champion in Chipata. A boy that is failing to bath. Look at him, you can see that the boy is hungry. Allowing an idiot like that to come in, in your territory and beat up your police officers. And now he's roaming around the street. It's only when Siawan spoke that you rearrested him. You are idiots. You are a disgrace. I'm telling the gospel truth. You are a disgrace to Zambian police. It's, it's only when Siawan spoke. And even the op opposition parties in Zambia, sometimes when I look at you, I feel sorry for you. Because to be sincere, you don't know what you are doing. If I didn't speak that day, JJ was already, it was quiet. It was already done. It was already finished. It's only when I spoke, saying, why must you release JJ? When the noise started around Zambia, that they rearrested him. Opposition, what is your job in Zambia? Why is it that the government does not fear you? Why is it that you know why is it that why is it that you can't speak? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Eh? What are you afraid of? Chishimba Kamwiri. What are you afraid of? Bali. What are you afraid of? Nefes Mumba. Eh? Many of you. Eh? What are you afraid of? Eh? If I didn't speak, that criminal JJ was going to be set free. Because everything was done and planned and done and it went quiet until I started speaking. Am I the opposition leader in Zambia? I'm not the opposition leader in Zambia. What is your duty? Criminals like uh, JJ, you know, was busy roaming around the street. And he today is busy roaming around the street and you kept quiet. Eh? Police gave him, a, 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 we charged him, a, a, attempted to steal. He stole. What is attempted to steal? Eh? Under, your, under, your, under your nose, under your nose, Eddie Galungu is ruling Zambia like Zambia is his kitchen. Eddie Galungu is ruling Zambia like Zambia is his, uh, his, uh, his uh, gear friends and, uh, and, uh, and other things. No! That should not happen. You know, what is happening to JJ today is because I spoke from here. He's a criminal. Arresting him again is not enough. He must go to jail. And he must not be given bail because he committed an aggravated robbery. Now that he has been fired, and he has been suspended from PF. Ganganja, move him now and arrest him. Arrest him. Put him inside the prison. There are many people that have suffered because of them. There are many people that have suffered because of them. Eh? So what is happening today in Zambia has never happened in the history of Zambia before. It has never, never happened. It has never happened in the history. It has never. A criminal going to station to beat up the, 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 the police and he is giving bail. And he's working, and even when the criminal arrived in Tipata, they gave him a presidential welcome with bicycles, a local champion, an idiot that is, is not even, he doesn't even bath. A smelling fool was given a presidential welcome eh? in Zambia. Zambian people, what is wrong with you? When will you wake up?
When will you wake up? When will you see that these idiots are taking you for granted? Eh? What is going on in Zambia? Eh? Eh? What is happening in Zambia? Anyway, that's not what I came to talk about. I just want to thank David Mwila for suspending JJ because JJ is a criminal. Now that JJ has been suspended, please let uh, the police arrest him now and they put him inside the, inside the prison. Because when Mwilita when, uh, when, uh, when, when was suspended, when, when Mwilita was arrested for alleged aggravated robbery, which he did not commit, he was, he did, he was not given bail. Chel, uh, Chela Tikuka didn't commit any major crime. He committed what is called defamation. Defamation of character. A case that is never between the state and the person. A case that is between a person and the person. State moved in and arrested that innocent boy and kept him in, in cell for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. It took everybody talking. It took Linda Kasonde talking. It took NGOs talking before he was released. JJ is a criminal. He was arrested and he was released immediately. When we this mediocre stop in Zambian police, I can assure you that junior police officers in Zambia are tired. The only people that are condoning this rubbish are the senior police officers. You are you are you have become chola boys for Eddie Galungu. Eddie Galungu from his bed, he will call you, do this, you will do, do that, you will do. I can assure you, next year, Eddie Galungu is going to leave, leave the office. I will see where you will go. I'm going to see where you will go. I'm going to see this Zambian police boss is Kanganja. That have turned around that became a cadre. Become a cadre. I will see where you are going next year. Next year is already done. It's a done deal. It's a, it's a done donor, donest. It's a done deal. HH is taking over. I want to see where you will go. All this crime that you are helping the PF to, 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 uh, uh, the, this crime that you are helping the PF to commit. You will answer for them. This is not why I came here today. I came here today because of the issue of Bank of Zambia governor. Before, before the governor was fired, I was opportuned to spiritually sit with Eddie Galung and his people. And they listen to what they were saying. I've heard many people saying, uh, I've heard many people saying uh, uh, he was fired because uh, they want to print money. He was fired because of this. He was fired because of this. I want to tell you the reason why he was fired. Ask anybody. If you know the Bank of Zambia governor, he ask him what I'm saying. He's going to tell you that's how it is. This is why when I tell you that Eddie Galungu will fail to rig election next year because all his plan, once they are sitting and planning it, I'm having it here. I don't want to start revealing it. I want them to continue so that when I, when I blow it, I blow it up completely so that they won't have where to run. If you have the number for the Bank of Zambia governor, the one that was fired, you will ask him when I finish talking, what CIA one say, is it true or is a lie? Listen to what happened. They sat in a meeting. This is a group of PF people. They sat in a meeting. And they said to themselves, to say, this man is not releasing money for us. <laughs> and before he was fired, that was yesterday. I think it was, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. I picked up my phone call. I called many top leaders in government. A lot of them, I called them. I told them to say, your president is about to fire the Bank of Zambian governor. By then, none of them, none of them was away. Follow me very, very carefully. I am Jagaban, the dawn of power in Africa. Nothing happened that I don't see, unless I don't want to see it. Before he fired them, I picked up my phone. I called them the senior leaders in pf i said eddie galungu is about to fire your central your central bank governor 
But that decision is going to backfire on him. What did he do? Vincent, that minister, I don't know the minister of what, what, that, uh, that other, I don't know if he's the minister of what, what. He called the Bank of Zambia governor, asking him to release money. Follow my, follow my things clear. When I finish, if, if my, my, my prophecy and what I saw is not correct in the realm of the spirit, if you have the number of Bank of Zambia governor, call him. If he say this is not what happened, then the same way I told you that I will stop preaching when, when Edgar Lungu wins the election is the same way I will stop coming live. If you have his number, his family members, I know that many of them are watching and those close to him, they are watching. Ask, find out. Vincent called him and asked him to release money. This bank of Zambian governor said, we cannot release money because we don't have money. Follow my talking very, very well. This is why, this is exactly why that man was fired. It was not about printing money. You cannot print money when, when parliament is not aware of that. That one is out of the equation. He was called by Vincent. Release money. This man says, Zambia don't have money. We are on deficit. Our economy has crumbled. This is what the Bank of Zambia governor was telling Vincent, was telling them. We cannot release money because there is no money in the coffers. Zambia economy is dead. This is what the man was saying. After he failed to release the money and after he ended his conversation, he was fired, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday. That same day, that minister, I think, instead of freedom, freedom called him again and said, release the money. He said the same thing. I cannot release money because Zambia does not have any money in reserve. Freedom called him. Zambia does not have any money in reserve. Before today, I want you people that are from PF to know that your party has gone to the dogs. The party that Sata fought for has gone to the dogs. If not, when did the Vincent start calling Bank of Zambia governor to start talking about money? For what reason? Who is Vincent? From MMD, from blue to, to green. Who are you? You were not there when we are fighting with Sata. You were not there. You were not there when Sata was being tear-gassed like a baby, mistreated by MMD. You were not there. Now that Sata became president and PF has gone into power, you have turned around to come and make decision in PF. Who are you? You and the Dora Celia and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, all of you that have come now to hijack PF. Next year you will cry. I have everything in my hand. I'm waiting for all of you. Let next year come. I swear upon God, Father, if you don't spend your years in jail, know that I'm not see one. If Akain the Echilema fails to take you to jail, eh, we are going to mess him up. We are going to mess his family up. We are going to, we are going to bring down his government and level it. We are going to use the dust of his government and build another house. I'm telling you, all the things he are doing, I have them. How did the CIA know? Call Bank of Zambia governor and ask him what I'm saying. Is it true? Freedom called him. Release the money. He said, no. I'm not going to release money. Zambia doesn't have money. Zambia doesn't have anything. Not even, we don't, we, we have run out of money, you know. What can we do? We don't have money. After that, that was when they drafted his firing letter. And they fired that man. The reason why he was fired is, is why? Because he was protecting the little that was in the reserve of Zambia. Eddie Galungu and his top PF leaders know that they are going. But they want to destroy everything completely before they go. They want to make sure that all the money in, in reserve is gone. That's why the Bank of Zambia governor was fired. He was not fired because he committed any crime. He was not fired because he was a criminal. He was not fired because he, he didn't stabilize the quarter. In fact, the quarter 
that was even trading on 18 was because of that man. If not because of that man, Kwacha was going to be at 20 like he's, as it is today. He's a competent man. He's a man of integrity. He was fired because they were calling him to release money and he failed to release the money. He told them there is no money. There is no, he told them there is no money in reserve. We cannot continue spending. We cannot continue releasing money when we are not seeing what we are doing with it. That is why that man was fired. Those of you that say Eddie Galungu is humble, where is the humility? If Eddie Galungu cannot, as I'm talking to you today, let me tell you something that you don't know. As I'm talking to you today, Zambia is failing to service their loan. I'm telling you, in the next few months, Zimbabwe will be better than Zambia. Because of what? They have fired a man that was protecting the little Zambia has. And they have put a playboy. <laughs> uh, let me show you something you don't know. Wait a bit. Let me show you something. I'm, 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 I'm going to be... I love to talk with... Uh, I don't love to talk with just talking. I love to talk with... Uh, in the first place, I want to I want you to see this. See this. That is him. This man, in the first place, he has not yet been affirmed by the parliament. Parliament must sit first and they affirm his uh, 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 appointment, but he's already excited. A person like this, what does he have to offer to the people of Zambia? Eh? Let me tell you, let me say this. The post of a governor of a country is a respected post. A governor of a country is actually more powerful than the president. A man whose signature is in the money that you use is a respected man. It's, it's a post that you don't joke with. On that, I love, I, you know, I hate MMD. I don't love MMD. I hate MMD. But one thing you cannot take away from Rupia Banda is that he never appointed cadres in sensitive positions. Because Eddie Galungi is a playboy. He's appointing playboys in sensitive positions. The position of central bank is a position that you have to put somebody that is dignified. This man was an ordinary deputy minister by then. And he was sending the driver to go and pick up his girlfriend, not his wife. His girlfriend is a playboy. I read it on paper. Many of you read it. He was an ordinary deputy minister. He was sending his driver to go and pick up his girlfriend from one radio station. He was... An ordinary deputy minister. What is going to happen when he becomes the, the Bank of Zambia governor? The most, the most biggest position in any country. You give it to a cadre. A clueless man. An oversighted man. A position that needed a sober person. There are so many intellectuals in Zambia. If you want, I can mention them one by one. Even in PF. That can run the institution and run it very, very well. Why must Eddie Galunga appoint a cadre? A man that is oversighted. A man that everything excites. This is what will happen. Eddie Galunga will call him, Hello, my friend, tomorrow release 20 billion. He will say, Yes, sir. He will never object. Zambia is about to become Zimbabwe. Mark my word. Today you are crying. Kwacha is already 20. It's going to 30, 40, 50. Because the economy of Zambia has crashed. Under the leadership of Eddie Galungu. I was in Zambia uh, 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 when, uh, Sata, when Eddie Galungu took over power. Kwacha to, Kwacha to, 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 to dollar was trending as 6, six Kwacha. Eight, uh, eight cent those days. Eight in Gwe. Six kwacha, eight in Gwe when Ed Galungu took over power. Today it's trending at 20 kwacha per dollar. If Ed Galungu was wise, he could step down and say, I have failed. What do you want to do? What, what, tell me, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Ed Galungu, you have destroyed Zambia within a short space of time. Why do you want to continue 
In fact, why, why actually do you want to contest? I can assure you, I can tell you something tonight. If you are watching me, read my lips. Not even before election. Now, 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 Zambia is about to become Zimbabwe. If Kwacha is trading at 20, today, 20, 20 Kwacha per dollar, what do you think will happen in the next few days? And at the end of the day, he brought in a playboy, an over-excited buffoon, an over-excited man, a jumping castle, a cadder, and put him in a sensitive, a sensitive position. Edgar Galungu, why? Even if you don't reason, even if you don't think, it's not everything that you play politics. If I was to be a president, in a position like that, that is holding the economy like this, I wouldn't put a cadre. I wouldn't put somebody that always answer me, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Because it's for the benefit of the people. The Bank of Zambia governor was failing to release money. Even when Vincent called him, even when Freedom called him, calling him to release money, say we are not going to release money, there is no money. We don't have any money here. He was fired. That is the type of a person you want. This one that you have put now, the dancer, the dancing queen, the, 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 the black Mac Johnson. Eh? Let me show. There are thousands of people that are watching me from all over the world. A lot and a lot of people that are watching me from all over the world. If you don't know the latest, the new Bank of Zambia uh, uh, governor, let me show you. Let me show you the guy. <laughs> <laughs> See him there, <laughs> Michael Jans. <laughs> See the governor. <laughs> See Bank of Zambia governor. <laughs> he don't play with alcohol. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look at him. This is a central bank governor. This man you are seeing here is going to be signing in the currency of Zambia. Look at him. <laughs> see him dancing in a public of Igwemad, in a public you know a man that don't have a single integrity not even not even a single integrity this guy does not have a man that can dance anywhere this is the latest bank of zambia governor in zambia eddie galungo has turned zambia into a joke look at him look at if if a bank do you know what a governor of a bank is respected more than a president look at him here look at him that's the michael johnson of uh, zambia is the latest uh, bank of zambia governor look at look at look at the man can you believe that zambians this is your bank of zambia governor what does this man know this man is clueless i can assure you this man who can dance like this in public in a look, not even a dignified gathering. Look at this is a gathering of when you see the decoration here, you can see this is somewhere a, a compound arrangement. See the decoration, you can see that this decoration is not a dignified one. This is one of the compound marriages, and it's dancing like this. Look at him, no integrity. Latest Bank of Zambia governor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to me, I am happy because uh, this is few steps ahead of Edgar Lungu losing uh, uh, power because he has made a very wrong decision. And I know that he's going to fire this man very soon. Mark my word, he's going to fire this man very soon. I know this one. This one is a nobody. You don't, I know him. He said, no, but he knows nothing. I prefer you I, personally to me. I would have said appoint uh, somebody like uh, uh, Kaiser Zulu to become the Bank of Zambia governor because at least he's sober. He doesn't misbehave. Like he doesn't dance anyhow. He's not too excited like this one. This one is excited in, in one compound. Now he's, he's, he's having the greatest position in Zambia. Tell me what is going to happen. By the way, I want to find something here. I want to show you something. 
I want to show you something as I show you more proof of what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, where is it? 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 Come, 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 come. Be patient. Let me show you something. Mm. Let me show you something here, which is uh, which something that you you know is very important that you see. Mm. Okay, this is a post newspaper. For those of you that don't have memory, who don't know who your Bank of Zambia, Bank of Zambia governor is, deputy minister is not a minister. It's not a minister. He was a deputy minister. Deputy minister Mfunga orders OP. This is not ordinary police officers, but office of the president police officers. To pick up his Radio Phoenix gear friend, Priscilla. <laughs> Chipulu. <laughs> his gear friend, see them. <laughs> see the man. <laughs> see him. <laughs> this is Bank of Zambia governor. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was eating women like uh, Shawama <laughs> when he was a deputy minister. Now that he's a Bank of Zambia governor, what do you think will happen? He's going to eat them now like uh, chicken. <laughs> He's going to eat them raw. <laughs> he was a deputy minister and he was abusing his office, ordering uh, 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 a whole OP, office of the president police, to go and pick up his gay friend. Ordinary deputy minister, not a minister. Now that he's a Bank of Zambia governor, what will happen? His gay friends are going to be picked with helicopter, ZAF helicopter, whether you like it or not. It's a Bank of Zambia governor. <laughs> These are the type of people that Edgar Galungu play with. That's why Edgar Galungu has played with the economy of Zambia and destroy it completely. Completely! I mean, I, sh I showed you here. I, I am somebody that loves to talk with proof. I don't talk uh, I don't talk cha 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 or Jesus, Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire, blood of Jesus. God is saying this. God is saying that. No, I talk facts. I talk the proof. I talk with proof. I talk the truth. If this guy was a deputy minister and he was eating girls like a popcorn, what will happen now that he's a governor? It's definitely the wife, instead of celebrating, if he has, instead of celebrating now, the wife is crying. Because now he's going to eat women like lollipop. I'm telling you. Do you know what it takes to be a bank, a central bank governor? You are the greatest man in the nation. Your signature is on the money. You are the greatest. Now women are in trouble. I feel sorry for women. That's why in most of the government institutes today, it's filled up with humanizers. I'm telling you. Because from A to Z, from their president down, everyone is a humanizer in PF. For you to get a job in Zamte today, you must, you must sleep with them. For you to get a job in Zesco today, you must be a harlot. You must sleep with them. That is PF for you. For you to get a job in, in any government, Minister of, uh, of uh, Education, that one is a hub of, hub of sex. You must sleep with the directors. For you to get a job in the Ministry of Energy, same. Everywhere, it's like Zambia has become Sodom and Gomorrah. No more at all. Before, for a president to appoint somebody in a sensitive position like this one of Bank of Zambia, they will check you. There will be what is called character examination. It's no longer there today. Eddie Galungu wakes up and says, mm, Who did I drink with last night? Oh, I drank, I, I, I drank with Mvunga. Okay, Mvunga, uh, next, tomorrow, you are the minister of, uh, of this, you are the minister of that. Eddie Galungu has, has made Zambian uh, government look like rubbish. And, uh, and uh, I, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the minister of uh, finance, uh, here in South Africa condemned the firing of Bank of Zambia governor. He said that is unbelievable. A Bank of Zambian institution supposed to be non-partisan. 
It's supposed to be a sensitive position because it's holding the economy of Zambia. Edgar Lungo has destroyed it. Edgar Lungo has appointed a cadre, a serial sex lover. Edgar Lungo has appointed him. An old man in a, in a, in a, 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 a an old man, a, 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 a young boy, a baby in an old man's body. Inside him is a 10 years old child. He's oversighted, but outside him is old. That's the type of person Edgar Lungo appointed. The Minister of Finance in South Africa said, this is supposed to be an independent or can, or, uh, institution. Just like the court. Edgar Lungo has turned Zambian police into a party parastata. Edgar Lungo has turned court of Zambia into a party parastata. Now Edgar Lungo has gone to Bank of Zambia and he has turned it into a, a, a party parastata. What is remaining in Zambia? Zambia, what is the way forward? Zambia, what is the way forward? And I saw Dora Silia, Dora Siliti, Siliti woman, condemning the, 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 the minister of, uh, of, uh, of uh, 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 finance, South Africa, saying that he's poking nose in internal affairs. Dora Silia, I thought you were educated. I thought you were wise. I can see that everybody in PF is down, including those of you that came from UPND to hijack, that came from MMD to hijack PF. All of you are, are illiterate and idiot. You don't know what, what it means by interfering in, 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 in people's country's affairs and commenting. The minister is free to comment. The minister is free to talk about your country. Your country is part of Africa. Your country is part of the world. If you don't want anybody to talk about your country, relocate your country to the moon. Relocate your country to the, to, to, to the Pluto. Then people will not talk about it. So long as your country is here on earth, we are going to talk about it anyhow we want. And especially that fools, idiots, criminals, corrupt people have hijacked the country. We are not going to keep quiet and continue seeing you looting Zambia and destroying it beyond repair. We are not going to see you do that. The minister commented, the minister condemned the sacking of the governor and Darasilia said we are going to use a diplomatic channel to deal with him. You are, mama, you are a fool. You don't know law. If somebody like you do not understand what it means to comment on a nation and interfere on a nation, if somebody like you do not understand it, then who understands it in PF? That's why I say everybody in PF now, the, 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 everybody in PF, is just, there is nothing. It's cad they are cadres. They don't know nothing, you know. They, 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 they don't have senses. You know, and, 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 and you want to put pressure on the minister to apologize from South Africa here. The minister of finance, South Africa, apologizing for condemning the useless decision that Eddie Galungu made. You are mad. It can happen. If that minister apologizes, then he's a coward. Apologize for what? Where is freedom of speech? We are in a free world. We can talk what we want. We talk about Donald Trump. We talk about anybody we want. So long as you are not doing the right thing, we are going to talk about you. You cannot do anything about it. South Africa is not Zambia that you intimidate anyhow. You use police to intimidate them. Useless police that cannot arrest an ordinary cadre that came to fight them and steal from their police station. You send them to go and intimidate innocent people because they are talking. It doesn't happen. You must learn. You must. You must learn what is called public relation. You must learn what is called international law. He has the right. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I feel sorry for the people of Zambia, for the good people of Zambia. I feel sorry for you. Edgar Lungu is a project, is a white elephant that we helped to put where he is today. We didn't know that it was going to be like this. We didn't know that Zambia is going to become a joke. Let me tell you, go to Bloomberg today. Go to any financial market today. Search for the, the worst performing currency on earth. Zambia has come to number two. It has never happened in the history of Zambia. Eddie Galungo has destroyed Zambia. Zambia Kwacha is the second worst performing currency in the world. 
Today, investors are afraid to come and invest in Zambia. Today, uh, IMF is going to soon cut ties with Zambia because your debt has reached to an unsustainable level. And now you are pressurizing Bank of Zambia to release money so that you can have money to campaign. Eddie Galung, let me ask you a question, my brother. You have ruled Zambia for complete uh, 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 four to five years now. Are you not rich enough? You are now a billionaire. Your money now has run into billions. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know how presidents in Africa move their money. I know how money is loaded in the private jet of the president because it's not inspected. It's loaded and offloaded in other people's country. That is presidents of Africa for you. Money is loaded in the jet. And when you see a president always flying out, any small thing, any inauguration, he will go. Even things that he's not supposed to attend, even things that he can send the minister to go and represent, that president is flying. Know that money is moving. Anytime you wave bye-bye to that president, billions have left the country because the plane is unchecked. That is Africa president for you. When you see, when you see a president moving up and down, flying like a bird, the citizens are complaining. Eddie Galungu is the most traveled president in the history of Zambia. Do you think that he was, he's just flying? No. The guy is rich. I'm saying this. I'm telling you. Anytime you see a president of Africa flying, vu, 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 money is leaving the country. Billions are stuck in the jet. Pam, he has gone. Those monies that have left Zambia through politicians, why not bring them back and use it to campaign? Why do you people want to burden innocent Zambian citizens for nothing? The little money they have, the money that they want to use to pay salary, now you want to get it. The governor is saying, no, 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 we can't do this. And he's fired. You have put a, 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 a playboy. Hello, release one billion. He will release. Who is going to suffer? Edgar Lung, we are not going to suffer. Next year, once you, are, you, are, you, you, you lose the election, you will fly outside the country because that's where you have invested. If not, tell me one investment that you have in Zambia that is employing the people of Zambia. You don't even have a noisy school, Edgar Lungu noisy school. All the money is out. Even your salary, where, what have you done with them? How many people have you employed in your private investment? I'm not saying, I'm not saying the, the useless things that uh, uh, I, I now see that uh, 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 you are now claiming credit. On the Kazungula Bridge. Very soon you are going to go and decommission it. Mm -hmm. Kazungula Bridge that your government failed to remit their own money. Uh, minus Botswana government. That was going to be a failed product. I am now seeing that bridge all over uh, social media. On PF uh, Facebook. Our Kazungula Bridge. Minus Botswana. You even failed to remit your own money. Very soon you are going to go and commission it. And we are working. Borrowed money. Eh? Eh? You went to commission the, the, the McKinney Bridge that was built by Indian, uh, uh, Indian, Indian government, borrowed money. Tell me one thing that you did with your own money in Zambia. That's why people of Zambia must wake up. Eddie Galungu is not going to stay in Zambia. He has not invested anything in Zambia. Not even a nursery school. Eddie Galungu's nursery school. He has not invested. He's just waiting. That, that's why now they are doing everything possible to loot unlootable. So that once they hear the winner is Hakai, they fly. Many of them on that day of election, that's where Zambian police, Zambian army, and Zambian ZAF, that's where you have to be careful. Make sure that that night, when that thing is being announced, you are by the borders. Many of them, somebody like Eddie Galungu is going to be on a jet. Once he hear her car, he will tell pilot, pilot, or I move. I'm telling you the gospel truth. They don't want to stay in Zambia. That's why they want to destroy Zambia beyond repair. <laughs> I'm telling you, gospel truth. <laughs> Have mercy. You know, Edgar Lungu, you are a rich man. You are now a rich man. You are you are a multi-millionaire. You have money. You have money. Excess money. 
You know, uh, your daughter is, is too rich. You, you know, your, 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 look at your minister. Not even a full minister, a provincial minister, Bowman Lusambo. That guy is, is bastardly rich. You know, a minister that can remove 300,000 and give to the people. You think he's poor? Eh? Was he removing it when he was not a minister? How much is salary to remove 300,000? A minister that is saying 2 million is for, just for shopping. Where did he get it from? Is he not a, a, a civil servant that is getting little salary? It's not even a full minister. You guys are rich. You are so rich. Why are you still eating Zambian people like, like a, a, where a lion is tearing a goat apart? You have destroyed Zambia completely. Why not have mercy on the people of Zambia? Eddie Galungu, the, 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 the kwacha has died. The economy has died. The institution in Zambia, they have collapsed. Why do you want to continue doing this? Why, if, leave something for a church when he come so that you have something to talk over from. Why do you want to eat the lion, eat the goat and eat the bone? There is no flesh remaining in Zambia. Why do you want to eat the bone? Why do you hate the people of Zambia like this? Hmm? Why did you hate the people of Zambia like this? Eh? I came here today to tell you the reason why that man was fired is because he was called to release money and he refused to release money. He said, we don't have money. There is nothing remaining. And because of that, that man was relieved his duty. Zambian people. Your independence is going to come next year. Believe me. Ask me your question. Let me answer your question. Ask me your question. Many of you in Zambia, you have been so intimidated that you are even afraid. Let me say, let me, let me say something that people don't know. Every day by day, I receive more than thousands of messages on my WhatsApp phone. People are complaining in Zambia, not only Zambians, but PF members are complaining. If you're a PF member today, the party that you fought for, especially your cadres, cadres, poor innocent cadres, the party you fought for, the people that have come to take over now, are they not MMD? You know, why, why actually did we remove MMD from power? If we want them back, why actually did we remove MMD from power? I think it would have been better for us to allow Rupia Banda to continue ruling. Because Rupia Banda, there was corruption in his leadership. I remember that there was a minister or a deputy minister or maybe a PS that went to prison because of ordinary bicycles. Ordinary bicycles. Today, a sitting half minister... Bowman Lusambo is saying two million is nothing. Where did he get it from? I listened to Hakain De Chilema saying uh, I listened to Mr. Hakain De Chilema saying uh, uh, he's not going to arrest anybody, he's not coming there to arrest anybody. Hakain De Chilema, let me tell you something you don't know, sir. Eh? Take over first. We are going to give you opportunity to take over, and we are going to give you two weeks. Only two weeks. From here, from all over the world, people are watching. We are going to give you two weeks. If you don't arrest these criminals and have them return all the money they looted, we are going to fight you. You are not going to sleep. We are going to fight you. Eh? We are going to fight the hell out of your head. Don't, don't, don't joke. The time of joking is over. I'm telling you the gospel truth. If if really, really, really there was seriousness 
in Zambia today. Where is the son of Ropia Banda, James Banda? He was run away. He was declared a fugitive. He ran away. He came to South Africa here. Where is he today? He's now a free man. All the money that they took, where is it? Rupia Banda, where is he? Was he not facing corruption charges? Is he in prison? Is he not the same Eddie Galungu, the papa corruption, Jagaban of corruption, that took in the money, the five million US dollars of poor Zambians to go and build a house for Rupia Banda? A man that is already wealthy, extremely wealthy. Eddie Galungu took millions of dollars to build him a retirement house. How much did uh, uh, Rupia Banda loot from Zambian government? Eh? HH, you are coming to tell us that you are not there to fight anybody. Anyway, you are not going to fight them. We are going to fight them. Your duty, eh? your duty is to restore the economy. The same way you took care of your business and made it successful, restore Zambian economy. I myself, CIA1 is going to take PF leaders to international criminal court. I need the backing of Zambian government on that. I have all the transactions, the way they are moving money abroad. I have them. I'm telling you, they are going to rot in jail, if not in Zambia, but in international criminal court. The ICC, they will go there. From Eddie Galungu to the list, I'm telling you, they have destroyed Zambia, a country that was once the eye, eye, eye saw of the whole nation. Everybody was admiring Zambia, including myself, Siawan. I was in Zambia. I was bragging about the culture of Zambia, bragging about the hospitality, bragging about the peace. Where is the peace in Zambia today? If an ordinary idiot, a local criminal, who is not even qualified to be a criminal, if, if we have to bring him here in South Africa, in Limpopo, and initiate him into Ita Boys, he still has three years to learn before he become a qualified person. An idiot in Zambia is go, went to the police station eh, and start beating up police, police officers. For what reason? Eh? A junior, the most junior boys among the top boys is going to eat him like, like meat, raw meat. But in Zambia, he's a lion. He's big. He went to police station and start beating people. What type of rubbish is that? That's why, HH, we are not playing. Look, you don't pay me. You don't talk to me. How can you do it? You don't pay me. You, can, you yourself can go to your page or go to radio station or go to TV and tell the whole nation whether you have paid me, whether you have spoken to me, whether you have talked to me. You don't pay me. And I don't want payment from you. I'm not the only one. Chela is talking. Lily is talking. The, the, uh, Biflo is talking. Pilato is talking. There are so many other people that are talking in different platforms. You don't pay anybody. We are not going to finish suffering, removing the thieves. And you come and tell us that you forgive them if you do that we are going to burn your seat i swear upon god father i'm telling you time has come for things to change in zambia where is the peace when i was in zambia there was peace those of you that know my house by ibex ibex here there know that when i want to go and deposit money in uh, in zanako 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 uh, uh, thing there by twin pamo in ibex there I used to carry my money, bundles of bundles of money, hundreds of thousands of kwacha, carry it in a plastic. Everyone is seeing it. I was not bothering who is going to attack me because of what? Because of what? Eh? Because of what? Because there was peace in Zambia. Today, where is that peace? If criminals can go to police station and attack the police station and beat up the police, where is the peace? How about an ordinary person? How about an ordinary person in Zambia? I used to sleep in Zambia with no, no escort, no security, no nothing. My door is open. I sleep like a baby. Today, can you do it? You can't do it in Zambia. The freedom is gone. Cadres have taken over. If you talk, they will come and beat you. If you talk, they will come and kill you. If they can go and beat up police officer, who are you? An ordinary person. Eh? Even as we are talking today, if uh, 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 that the, the other day, the other day I came when I was cursing the PF leadership, I told all the men of God that are praying for Edgar Lungu to stop praying for him because he's cursed. 
I told them and they didn't believe me. I was having my purification and having my uh, 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 having my fortification with Godfather. And we saw this man, Edgar Ngambi, the, the, that one for praise center, praise center, what, what, cathedral, something like that. That man who prays for Edgar, that political man. I don't want to insult him because he still calls himself a man of God. We saw him praying for Edgar Lungu. And Godfather nearly terminated that one and gave him a warning. In that warning, he had an accident. Ask him, he doesn't even know what happened. He doesn't know how he did that accident. But my question is this. My question is this. Has that man been charged by the police? Is he going to court? Bishop Ed Gangambi, is he going to court? He's not going to court. Because he's close to Ed Galungu. Ed Galungu is shedding him like a baby. Papa corruption. That man killed a person. If it was an ordinary person, he was going to be answering murder charges. He killed a lady that works by the bank in Salama Park in that accident with a Range Rover. Is he going to court? He's not going to court. Has police been arrested him? No. Why? Why has Eddie Galungu destroyed everything in Zambia? When I was in Zambia many years ago, even if you are son of the president and you kill somebody by accident, at least you'll be arrested. At least you'll be arrested. Has that man been arrested? Eddie Gangambi? Has he been arrested? Eh? I see him every Sunday, still carrying microphone and gallivanting in that cathedral that has become a, a headquarters for patriotic front. Eh? Headquarters for thieves. Eh? Headquarters for criminals. That church, press Christian what, what he call himself. Eh? Why is he not being uh, arrested for committing murder? He killed a person. Why is he not arrested? Bishop Ed Gangambi. If he was ordinary person, ordinary Zambia, by now he was going to be Galavanting inside the cell. But he has not been arrested. Because of what? It's close to Eddie Galungu. For how long will Eddie Galungu destroy the constitution of Zambia? For how long will Eddie Galungu destroy the constitution of Zambia? Today, out of fear, they are saying, Corona. Corona. In every country, Corona is coming down. It's only in Zambia that Corona is going up every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Why? Because they want to postpone the election. That's what Edgar, eh? my brother, my, I know you are watching. You usually use fake accounts to watch CR1. I know that you are watching. Don't postpone the election. I know that you have chattered the uh, armored cars. You have chattered heaven and earth. Eh? So that when people make mistake, and uh, when people make mistake and uh, and uh, and they uh, protest, you intimidate them with the car. Edgar. Don't postpone the election. I am warning you. I am telling you, Edgar, if you postpone the election, Godfather will relocate from, Z from Nigeria and come to Zambia and stay in Zambia. Edgar, Edgar, ask people that know Godfather. God, ask people in Zambia that know Godfather. He will relocate. He will relocate from Nigeria and come to Zambia. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. Your family will fall like wall of Jericho. Not only you. I'm telling you. Don't make mistake to postpone the election. You can intimidate the people of Zambia. You cannot intimidate us Pan-Africanists. That's why your government is trying to intimidate the Minister of Finance, South Africa. Are you mad? Who told you that we are not free to comment on what is happening in Zambia? You are... you. That woman... Uh, what is the name of that uh, uh, fool? What is the name of that one? She's saying... The, the, the minister... You must not... You must mind your business... In South Africa... We are sovereign state... Of uh, Zambia... The only people... That are having sovereignty... In Zambia... Are PF cadres... And PF members... The rest of Zambian population... They don't have... Any sovereignty in Zambia... Because... They don't have freedom of speech... Where is the sovereignty? When they talk... You put them in prison. Where is the sovereignty? Because Zambia is a sovereign nation. So we can make decisions that we want. You have fired a, 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 a bank of Zambia governor that knows what he's doing. A wise man. South African minister is consigned. Because without South Africa today, 
Zambia will not survive. Oh, yes. It's not because you don't have what it takes to survive. You have everything. In the whole uh, Southern African region, Zambia has the best weather for agriculture. But you don't even have agriculture. Everything comes from South Africa, including chips, potato chips. They are imported from South Africa. The malls in Zambia from South Africa. Even toothpick, toothpick, eh? toothpick to clean your teeth when you finish eating meat is coming from South Africa. Everything. This guy is worried because the investment of his people are there in Zambia. He's worried because your president has appointed a playboy, a dancing queen, an unserious man. And this man is worried because... Let me tell you this. It's worried because their investment in Zambia is not secured. And they are saying, how can you comment? How can you comment what? We are Africans. From here, we comment in, in, in America. We call all sorts of names to be gate. We call all sorts of names. We even call him 666, Satan. We, we comment on Trump. Why we can't comment on our African soil? Are you educated? Are you a fool? Do you want to be xenophobic? Eh? Eh? Zambia is not living in Pluto. If you want us not to talk about Zambia, relocate Zambia to Pluto. Relocate Zambia to the moon. Then we know so long as Zambia is on Earth and part of Africa, we are not going to allow you to take the citizen for granted. You have intimidated them. They can't talk. We are talking for them. Ask me your questions. Ask me your questions. Of course, everything is imported in Zambia. I was there. I'm telling you. Not because Zambia do not have the potential. But there is no environment for them. Take, for example, there are thousands of local bar owners in Zambia. These bar owners are, are sustaining their family through bar. There are people that go to bar to serve people. They are, that's where they get their salary from. There are people that uh, 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 pay, receive salary from the bar. There are people that cook food from the bar. But Eddie Galungu has closed it down. Said there is no bar because there is COVID in Zambia. But in casino, investment of outsiders, foreigners, are selling bar, are selling beers. The people, the poor people that fought for PF, that are supposed to benefit, are the ones that are suffering. Rich people are, and foreigners are the ones that are enjoying Bar owners in Zambia are poor people. They are struggling to survive. The economy is very bad. They have people that depend on them. Eddie Galungu closed, politically closed them. Eddie Galungu, in South Africa here, <laughs> President Siri Ramaphosa has opened the bars. He has opened the restaurant. South Africa was the worst hit coronavirus nation in Africa. How come... This guy has managed to control it and open up the, the, the economy. And they are still increasing numbers because of election. I feel sorry for you. The people that are giving you advice, they are fools. They don't know what to do. The people that are advising you, they don't know what to do. They, they don't know what they are doing. Believe me, poor people in Zambia are suffering. Rich people are the people that are enjoying. That's why I'm saying even businesses, tomatoes are coming from South Africa. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are coming from South Africa. I was in Zambia. I saw Chinese that came into Zambia to do investment, selling chicken. In the market, they are selling chicken. They traveled all the way from China to come to Africa to sell chicken. They are selling chicken here. A Zambian is selling chicken here. When a Chinese is 
in, in any African country. They are supported by their government to kill African market. Because he has a lot of money, he's selling chicken at 20 kwacha. A Zambian is selling chicken at 30 kwacha. Everybody will go and buy from a Chinese. At the end of the day, the business of a Zambian is dead. The business of a Chinese has succeeded. That is Zambia for you. That's Zambia for you. I'm telling you the gospel truth. If you go to Kamala there, if you go to Kamala by in, 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 in Kamala that side, majority of the shops there are owned by Indians. These guys are supported by their government. They are giving a lot of a lot of packages from their government to come and kill our market in Africa. A, an Indian will bring a television and sell it at 3,000 kwacha. While a Zambian is selling it at 6,000 kwacha. Everybody will go, and buy from, uh, will go and buy from an Indian because it's cheap. And Zambian market is closed. And Zambian population, Zambian citizens are suffering. That is Eddie Galungu for you. That is Zambia for you. That's why almost all the shops in Kamala are owned by Indians. Because a Zambian will start business. He cannot compete. You cannot compete with somebody who is selling cheaper than you. They will bring in a lot of things. A, 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 a Zambian is here selling a cloth for 2000 An Indian is next door selling it at 1000 At the end of the day, Zambian cannot compete. He will close his shop. It will be bought over by Indian. An ordinary Zambian is suffering and the president of Zambia is contributing and the president of Zambia is dancing and the president of Zambia is drinking and the president of Zambia is enjoying and the president of Zambia is busy employing a man that is not serious as Bank of Zambia governor. What is going on? What is going on? Where did we go, Where did we go wrong? Eh? Where did we go wrong? Eh? Eh? And, 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 and you are complaining. You can see that everyone is angry in Zambia. Instead of looking for a way to resolve the anger, instead of looking for a way to calm them down, you go and import armored cars. Eddie Galungu, I don't want to insult you today, my brother, but I can see that uh, you, are, you are becoming a Nebuchadnezzar. Instead of looking for a way to create employment for these youths that are crying. Instead of looking for a way to better the life of the citizens of Zambia that are crying. What did you do? You go and bought a mud car. Who do you want to scare with a mud car? Gaddafi had it. Where is Gaddafi today? The Mosi, the president of Egypt, he had it. Where is he today? The, the, uh, 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 Mugabe had it. Where is he today? Uh, uh, the president of Sudan had it. Where is he today? How about the president of Mali? The idiot that has been removed in, from power now. Where is he today? You must think with your brain. What, what is the name of that one? Your neighbor. Your neighbor, Muterika. That one that had pride. I'm going to win. I'm going to, I'm going to win. He scattered us all over. We are going to win. Where is he today? Forget about those things. You are not going to intimidate. I can assure you that even your own party members are not going to vote for you. Because they can see that you are greedy. You eat alone together with your family, Bom and Lusambo, and the MMD members. Finish. Finish. As I conclude, Kenneth Kaunda, when I was in Zambia, anytime he want to uh, address the nation, that man will come and sing a song Uniting Zambia. President Rupia Banda is not my favorite person, but he tried, you know. Uniting Zambia. Sata was in forefront. Uniting Zambia. Sata was always taking development to Southern Province. Sata was always a friend to Southern Province and lousy people. Even if they didn't vote for him, that man was taking development there. Even in his appointment, he was appointing everybody. He didn't want to leave any tribe behind under your leadership the unity the unity the unity that this president have fought for many many years edgar Lungu, you have destroyed it look at your appointment if that person is not related to you is coming from your area is coming from east 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 everybody east everybody east everybody east is east the only 
people in Zambia. Why not appoint everybody inclusive? The same thing that Sata was building, the same thing that uh, that uh, that uh, 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 Ropia Banda was building, the same thing Kenneth Kaunda was building. Why not build from it? You have divided Zambia. Completely divided Zambia. Everyone is crying under your leadership. Everyone is crying under your leadership. Look at the people. Let me give an example. Chishimba Kambu. Uh, uh, Harry Kalaba. KBF. These are the guys that fought with Sata. Coming from the same tribe. Look at how you have treated them. To you, somebody like... Uh, 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 what is the name? Uh, the one who was answering corrupt charges, Dorasilia. Dorasilia is supposed to be going to court, if not in jail by now. But because it's your sister, you are coming from the same area. You have shouted this corruption. Eh? Why is it that the things that uh, uh, Sata built, why are you destroying it? If you fly from Zambia and come to South Africa, nobody will say, is an Easterner. No, they will say a Zambian. Zambia is one. Zambia is one. Whether you are a Bemba, whether you are a Lozi, whether you are, you, are, you are a Shonga, whether you are this, you are that, you are one. Why do you want to destroy the legacy that Kenneth Kaunda built? The legacy that Chiluba built? The legacy that Manawasa built? The legacy? The legacy? That your predecessors built. Why? Look at your appointment today. Just look at your appointment. Look at your appointment today. Eddie Galungu, look at your appointment today. Sit down and look at your appointment today. Zambia does not belong to Easterners alone. Every thieves, every th even those who are not supposed to be in government because they are coming from Easterners, they are there. Eastern, they are there. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, my brother. You don't know what you are doing. Power always makes someone drunk. Power makes someone forgets. It's only that day that it will be announced that you are out of power. Your senses will come back to you. You ask yourself, why did I divide Zambia like this? You ask yourself, you start thinking, what, is, what happened? You know, what happened? What really happened? By then it will be too late. Wake up, my brother. Wake up, Eddie Galongu. Wake up. These few months that you have, these few months that you have to be in power, unite Zambia. Take from where Sata stopped. I was in Zambia when Sata was president. The people of uh, 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 um, uh, the, 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 the Tonga people did not vote for him. He did not get vote from them. Is, is it Western? Even lousy people didn't vote for didn't vote for him. But what did he do? He took development to them. He embraced them because he wanted one Zambia, one nation. But look at you today, Digalung. Look at you today. Look at how you have divided Zambia completely. You have created the enmity among the innocent people of Zambia. They are, they are even afraid now. You know, they are even afraid now. Eh? They, they, they are even afraid now. I feel sorry for you. Ask me your question. Let me answer your question so that we can sleep. Wise words, see one. Thank you. And uh, I've realized that there are so many people that... You are a Zambian, 100%. We love you, prophet. <laughs> I love you more. I've realized that there are people, anytime I post something, or I'm live, they come so that they can comment something bad, you know, so that I can respond to them, so that they can go viral, they become famous. <laughs> I've stopped responding to you, so you can go ahead and comment bad things i won't respond to you because you want to be famous because see i want re re replied your comment or see i want commented no it's, it's okay we are now in a serious uh thing because then 
the election is drawing near so i won't pay attention in responding to you papa continue talking we are listening and following and learning teddy so god bless you thank you jagaban help us fight for freedom freedom has come already freedom is is on the air i wonder why they call hh tribalist why edgar lung hh is not a tribalist it's not one thing about HH is that he loves straightforward things. He don't want people that steal. He don't want crooks. HH is not also a user. <laughs> Look at the way they have used GBM. They have used him and dumped him. That man was so powerful. GBM. In those days when I was in Zambia, if you hear GBM, you can even feel the heat. GBM. Today, the Galungu has reduced GBM to an Ekada. <laughs> that guy, GBM was powerful. I remember when Sata appointed him the defense minister. My God, that guy. When you hear GBM, when you hear GBM, you can feel the weight. Today, he has reduced GBM to an ordinary Kada. <laughs> People like GBM, you know, that's why... When people are saying, imagine now GBM who is powerful, he has left, uh, he has left uh, UPND. UPND will not win. Powerful where? It's not powerful. He was powerful during the time of Sata. Now it's ordinary Kada. Ordinary Chris Zumani from State House is going to command him and he will do it. Chris Zumani will call him, hey, GBM, come and lick my boot. He will do it. You know, that's the character of Edgar Lung. He will carry. A dignified person and reduce you to nothing. That's what he wanted to do to me, not knowing that I'm a Jagaban. You know, he, that's why, no, let's deport him and they let him go and suffer. He, he will not do anything. He didn't know that one day when I'm done preparing for him, three good years. I took three good years preparing for him. Today he's panicking. Always talk, they are talking to Nigerian embassy. They are talking to my president. They are talking. They are, see, our one is see, our one is poking nose on our government. See, our one is this. See, our one is that. Today, that's the character of Edgar Lung. He will use you and dump you. That is his character. Believe me. Look at what they have done to GBM. They have reduced GBM to a, an ordinary cadre. GBM doesn't have even a, a, a weight again. Those days when you see GBM, you feed the power, you feed the weight. Today it's a cadre. At a point whereby his daughter was even adopted, was even they failed to adopt his daughter. GBM is not popular in PF. How is he popular on the ground? GBM was somebody when he comes out, masses used to follow him, people used to respect him. GBM today is a nobody. Uh, even to an extent where GBM will tell my daughter, go and get adopted for ordinary member of parliament in the party. And they folded her like, like a used toilet tissue paper and throw her in the beam. That is how it is. Eddie Galungi is a user. Look at what is the name of this, uh, what is the name of uh, uh, that lawyer, KBF. KBF was running Heta Sketa. He was not sleeping. Making sure that Teddy Galungu be, become president. Where is he? Eh? Eh? Look at that one in Ethiopia. Uh, 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 Emmanuel Mwamba. It's, I don't like him. He's not my friend. But these are uh, intellectuals. These guys are people that know where the problems of Zambians are. And what they can do to rescue Zambia from this problem. They know it. That man suffered for Eddie Galungu. I don't want to say most of the things that Imane did for Eddie Galungu, but he suffered for Eddie Galungu. Where is he today? He transferred him to Ethiopia. Emmanuel Mwamba was in South Africa here. And you know that when you are uh, an ambassador of Zambia in South Africa, you get a lot of business connection. Because a lot of Zambians are coming into uh, uh, South Africa and a lot of businesses are going to Zambia through South Africa. As an ambassador, you get a lot of business connection. You get a lot of connection, you know. That guy was even trying to bring investors 
into Zambia. Edgar Lungu became jealous and threw him to Ethiopia, where he know that there is no work in Ethiopia. There is no which Zambia is going to Ethiopia except uh, my friend Chilufia Tayali. There is none. No Zambia. Go, what are you going to do in Ethiopia? He carried him and folded him like a parcel and posted him to Ethiopia because of jealousy. But these are the people that fought for Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is a user. Emmanuel Mamba, you, you know, it was instrumental. If you are doubting me, go and ask Guy Scott. These are the people that fought for. Uh, these are the people that fought for uh, uh, Edgar Lungu. In fact, if Edgar Lungu appointed Emmanuel Mamba as the Bank of Zambia governor, I was going to keep quiet because I know he's sober. He may have his weakness, weaknesses, but he's sober. But look where he's fired to. Even here, ordinary here today, here, South Africa, where he was getting businesses and getting investment into Zambia, Edgar Lungu became jealous. So if I leave this boy, he will bring investment and he will be richer than me. And he threw him to Ethiopia. What is happening in Ethiopia? There is nothing happening in Ethiopia. How many business people are in Ethiopia? Eh? Eh? Ed Kalungi is a user. That's how he used Emmanuel Mamba and threw him inside the bin in Ethiopia. Emmanuel Mamba, where he is, is doing nothing. That's why every morning he wake up, he bath, he comb his hair. He dress, he wear his suit, and he sit down on the camera and start saying motivational talk. Because there is nothing he's doing. After saying it, he sent it to Mweban, to Mweban to post for me. That is an ambassador. If he was here in South Africa, he would not have that opportunity because he's busy here. There is a lot of business deal going on in South Africa, in, in Zambian embassy here. Because there is a lot of investment that is living here going there. But Eddie Galungu was jealous. He transferred him to... A useless country like that to go and start snoring there. I said it before. The only the only time he becomes active is when uh, is when uh, 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 Chilufia Tal is there. You know he will go and welcome Chilufia Tal and other Zambians. There is nothing going on. That's why he has become a pastor. You know he's always motivating people. But these are the people that fought for uh, Eddie Galungu. At least. If nothing, Edgar Lungu was going to make that man the minister, uh, at least Lusaka, mi, Lusaka province minister. If he hated Emmanuel Mamba so much, he was going to make him Lusaka province minister. Instead of giving them a fool like Boman Lusambo. Is he not, is he not shameful? Is he not, uh, is he not, uh, is he not something abomination for somebody who does not know how to speak good English? For somebody who didn't go to school, a cadre who was roaming around the street to wake up and start controlling a province like Lusaka, the heart of the economy, a place packed with intellectuals, lecturers, bankers, managers, lawyers, intelligent people. Their leader is Bowman Lusambo in Lusaka. What a shame. A man who doesn't, who doesn't even understand his job description. A man who calls Edgar Lungu she. Ha. Ha. <laughs> that one. That one ha is a, is a force to lick on with. Eh? My God. That's Edgar Lungu for you. Even those of you that are jumping up with Edgar Lungu now. That guy don't care about you. He will use you. And he will dump you. Where is Satas family? Eh? eh? Where is Satas family? Eh, with the wife to Sata. Where is she? Is she not supposed to be a minister? Eh? She was supposed to at least be a minister. If, if not, if for nothing, she could be a minister of religious affairs. Just to be close and see how his husband party is being run. What happened? Edgar Lungu threw her away outside the country. Where is Mulenga Sata? Edgar Lungu is a user. I'm telling the gospel truth. They have used Mao Sampana. They are about to dump him. Eh? They used KBF. They used Calabar. Eh? Eh? How is a first to lick on with is people who is eating money today. Kamwiri. Without Kamwiri, Eddie Galung was not going to win in Copper Belt. Kamwiri was the only minister that campaigned with, 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 with his blood and his sweat. Kamwiri campaigned like a madman. Kamwiri was pulling crowd and, and, and making sure that Eddie Galung wins election. Where is he today? Has he not been dumped? 
I feel sorry for you. Supporters of Eddie Galung, continue. Give me your questions. Bowman refers to Edgar's house. Of course. Who didn't watch the interview? He said, Has. <laughs> Has is a force to lick on with. <laughs> Idiot who can't speak good English. Is the, is the leader. If Edgar Longu loved Bowman Lusambo very well, he would have sent him to one of the provinces. In fact, he was going to make him a headman of one village. Not a minister. He was going to make him a headman of one village. That guy is not qualified. You know, it's not, it's not, it's nowhere qualified to be a minister. But because Edgar Lungu love fools, he surround himself with fools, idiots. Those are the people that he like. Look at Z Bank of Zambia, the one he has appointed now, the one that is going to fire very soon. Mark my word, mark my word. You come back here and say, see, I one said it. Fired. <laughs> uh, please continue speaking for the poor Zambia. Rex Musata, God bless you. Jagaban, I want to visit you in South Africa. Once the airports are open, we are going to welcome you. Where does Chilufia, Chitaluf, Chilufia Tayali find riches? Look, let me correct something here. Let me correct something here. Anytime I'm live and uh, I mention about Chilufia Tayali, People get upset. Why are you upset? Why do you get upset? This is the, the problem that PF have planted in Zambia. But it's not supposed to be so. That tirely supporting PF does not make him your enemy. He's still a Zambia. Away from politics, you are brothers and sisters. Tirely. Is supporting PF because he feels that PF is better. Those other people are supporting UPND because they feel that UPND is better. That does not make you enemies. You are still brothers. You are still sisters. Politics is not supposed to divide us. Politics is supposed to unite us. Politics should be taken like football. Somebody is supporting Chelsea. Another person is supporting Arsenal. It's not your enemy. Don't be like PF Kadas. PF Kadas even seeing you with a UPND regalia, they they, you become their enemy. That's why they can beat you. That's why they can kill you for supporting a political party. As UPND members, as a, a, a citizens of Zambia, don't be like that. No. You must show tirely love. I'm telling the gospel truth. At the end of the day, it's his choice to support PF. It's your choice to support UPND. At the end of the day, UPND wins election. You will embrace him as your brother. There is nothing bad supporting any party that you want. Of course, he can come and write something about Akainde Chilema. Listen, let me tell you this. It's, it's more like me. I want you to reason very well. If you have to mature in politics, you must not see your political opponent as your enemy. No, you must see it as this one is this side, this one is this side, but we are one, one Zambia, one nation. You must not do it like church, where religion has brought... Um, uh, 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 division in family. This one is coming from Catholic. This one is coming from Pentecostal. Pentecostal don't like Catholic. Catholic don't love Pentecostal. It must not be like that. You must see it as politics. Tayali has the right to support PF. If he sees something good in PF, he can support them. You must also support Akain Dechlem. Because you believe in Haka in the HLM. Your political affiliation should not bring enmity among you two. You must put politics aside and accept him as your brother. Personally, to me, 
it's a friend of mine you know i was in zambia with him it, it, to me is you know to me i see a one i don't see any problem with him if he's supporting pf let him support akainde chilema today is like see a one when one idiotic uh, uh, prophet in zambia want to make name when one prophet in zambia this other hungry prophets in zambia that are roaming up and down the schools and classes when they want to make them they will say something bad about me and they know that when they say something bad about me everybody want to hear about see one and like that you know they become popular you know that's why when i look at them i see these guys want to eat and for them to get attention they have to talk about see one i don't count it to them as a problem same as uh, Chilufia Chitalu. If Chilufia Chitalu writes something about uh, Chilufia Tayali, if he writes something about Edigalung, nobody he will get few comments. He will get few uh, few likes. You will see that he will, nobody nobody cares about Edigalung anymore. But once he writes something about a church, the whole Zambia. So that is why. He must continue doing it so that he can be relevant. Without talking about HH, the page is going to die. And if the page dies, how is he going to survive? How is he going to be relevant? So you must understand uh, politics like this. He speak about, sometimes most of the things he write about HH, it's not because he meant, he doesn't mean it. Deep down, Chilufia Tayale, he know that Eddie Galungu is a failure. Even him, he gets frustrated by the act of Edigalungu. He feel like crying. He feel like going to slap Edigalungu. But because he's already defending them, he must continue defending them. That is politics for you. Are you hearing what I'm? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So because he's saying that, please don't see him as your enemy. Love him. He's your brother. At the end of the day, you are not a PF. You are not a UPND. You are not NDC. You are a Zambian. I hope I've made it clear on Chilufia, uh, on Chilufia Tayali. He's your brother. His political affiliation must not, uh, must not uh, uh, make you... The, you know, uh, uh, this one says, nowadays, you, nowadays he talks so much about our Bali. Because, you know, that is the only thing that he can say that can attract attention. Edgar Lung is a failed project. Nobody's talking about all the pages that are talking about Edgar Lung, they are dead. Zambian Report. That was one of the most powerful pages in Zambia. Zambia Report with over 1.2 million. One of the most powerful, it used to be one of the most powerful pages in Zambia. Since they sided with Edgar Lung, it has died. When they post something, nobody cares. Smart ego, over 700,000 people. When they post something, they have to use their own fake account to comment on the same thing. Smart ego. They have to, nobody wants to hear about Edgar Galungu. So when Tulifia Tile is talking about uh, 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 Akainde Lema, deep down his heart, he knows that Akainde Lema is the only savior, is the only one that can save Zambia. So take it like that, that this is politics. You really have soft spot for Chilufia, Chilufia Tile. Of course, I've known him before now. You know, I've known him. Be, I'm not. I, I'm not knowing him since I came to South Africa. I've known him in a, in a, in Zambia, and he's somebody that I trusted fr with, from the bottom of my heart that he was going to be. He was going to speak out for the masses. I know him from long time ago. Not from today. That's why I have soft spot for him. I still believe that one day he will stand up and fight for the people of Zambia. Because he knows that Edgar Lungu has failed the people of Zambia. He knows deep down he said that Edgar Lungu is a failed project. He's a white elephant. There is not Edgar Lungu is like Asna Football Club. Asna Football Club will start like when when Premier League is starting, they will fly. Woo! They are falling. They fall like an elephant that climbed the Roko tree that didn't know how to how he climbed there. He falls 
and four flat. That's it, they get long for you. Do you see the, the story on BBC on Kitwe Rat Hospital? Edgar Lungu has embarrassed Zambia to the whole world. How many thousands of people are watching me? It's not only Zambians that are watching me. Thousands of people from all over the world are watching me. Things Edgar Lungu have done in Zambia are things that have never happened. The hospitals in Zambia do not even have paracetamol. If you watch that video, you can see that the beddings do not does not even have forms mattresses hospitals are suffering if you make mistake go to that hospital because you have malaria you will go back home dying because right rat will bite another sickness inside you there are no equipments in the hospital edigalungu went and used millions upon millions to go and purchase amodka for what reason what for see a one you are coming back to Zambia when we will remove PF. To do what? What am I coming to do in Zambia? I don't, I'm not coming there. I don't need it. My leg will not touch there. Look, we, I don't lie. Anything I tell you, this thing will not happen. It will not happen. When I tell you that I'm not coming there, I'm not coming there. Even if Jesus come down from heaven to rule Zambia and invite me to come, I'm not coming there. It's over between me and Zambia. My mission is to remove PF that I helped to get into power. Because I've seen that people of Zambia have suffered. And when they cry, it pains me so much. I cry as well. Papa, please leave our Arsenal Football Club alone. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for that. I was just giving uh, an example. See, one is a church and can be going to form pact. That's what I advised, and I hope it will be done. I salute you, Naomi Mutale. God bless you. We need president like Paul Kagame. Mm. Okay, any question? Whether you like it or not, Papa, we shall get you back to Zambia. I don't need it. I'm not going to come there. I've already sworn uh, using Godfather. So it can't be happen. It can't happen. How I wish you watch her church interview on Comet TV. I watched it. Give us here one. So that's what I'm giving you. We have suffered indeed. That's right. See, one, we love you so much. Biano. Wasamuno. I love you, my God bless you. Jagaban is born and educated. Which educated? He don't know nothing. A, 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 a minister, a, a member of parliament that don't know how to talk in the, in the parliament. Even using Nyanja or Bemba, he don't know how to talk. Uh, where is his uh, his thing is yeah 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 where where is his uh, education it's an illiterate fool papa great one why why don't you answer my sms's there are thousands upon thousands of sms's that i receive you send me a message on that number if you want any help from me, my number is there on the screen. I've already pinned it there. Plus 277-8993-5144. That is the only number that I have. And remember, I don't have any representative anywhere in the world. If you want anything from me, you must write me direct on that number. If I don't answer you, you must be patient for me to answer you. If not, there is no any other person that represents CR1 anywhere in the world. Talk to open Zambian heads, please. I think I've done a lot. I've tried so much in telling you the truth, opening the brains of the people of Zambia, opening your eyes, and I'll continue doing it until we see Edgar Lungo out of office. <laughs> Mm 
the Gabon soon, Zambia is going to be free because of your support. Of course, Zambia is going to be free. The Gabon always appoints. Thank you. I like you, but where religion is, what, what? You must like me for, you, you, I don't want, I, have you ever seen me telling someone to come to my church? I don't invite people to my belief. It's left for you. That one, I don't even touch it. You believe in what you believe. I believe in what I believe. Many people follow me for so many things. People follow me politically. People follow me because of the truth. And others follow me because of my way of worship. So you choose what you want. You may not like me because of the way I worship. Forget about it. When I'm talking about worship, you leave. But when I'm talking about politics, if you love me for politics, you join. That is me. I cannot change who I am. See, I want to have just one question for you. Ask your question. Papa, help us. We want to remove fools from government. Next year, they are going. Jagaban, I want to apply for grant. Please, okay, send me a message on WhatsApp. I will tell you what to do. You are indeed one unique man of God. Thank you so much. Thank you. On the last day of the campaign, please. On the last day of the campaign, please. I've come again. We almost reached Chakaban. Keep keep on pushing. Yes, we are we are getting there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I believe we have uh, achieved a lot tonight. If you have not liked this page, make sure that you like this page, follow this page, subscribe to this YouTube channel, so that anytime I'm live, you get notification, and you listen, and you are blessed. I want to say that I love you so, so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. People of Zambia, my battle with PF is not my battle with Zambians. It's a battle of love. It's a battle of unity. It's a battle of peace. It's a battle of freedom. I don't hate Zambia. I love Zambia from the bottom of my heart. Zambia is one of the African countries. The best one. It used to be one of the best African countries. But Edgar Lungu has destroyed it almost beyond repair. The economy is dead. See, I want Antonio Manza was saying that you're a Satanist. It's okay. Uh, whatever you say that see, I is, it's okay. We, we will not argue with that. They have said a lot of things about me, so I don't care, you know. What I know is that I will always say the truth. Because even the Bible you read says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So, my battle with PF is battle of love. I love Zambia. That's why I'm fighting. Everything is okay for me. Everything is perfect for me. Everything, I'm, I'm okay. I have everything that I need in life. I can sleep on my comfortable bed in my comfortable house and forget about Zambia. I will not lose nothing. No one is paying me. No one has ever paid me for speaking out for the people of Zambia. No one has ever uh, given me anything for speaking for the people of Zambia. I am doing it out of love. I want Zambia to bounce back to glory. I want the citizens of Zambia to have freedom. I don't want Chinese to continue mistreating the people of Zambia. I don't want. I don't want Chinese to continue harassing the citizens of Zambia. I want I want Zambians to be owned by Zambians. I want Eddie Galungu out so that the all the errors that he made can be corrected. Let us unite and achieve this goal. If you have not registered to get your, your, your NRC and your voter's card, go and register and prepare yourself. Your NRC is your gun. Your voter's card is your bullet. You cannot catch a thief empty-handed. You must have a gun 
and you must have bullet to catch a thief. Make use of your gun, which is your NRS. Make use of your bullet, which is your voter's card, to catch the thief next year. Go and register. Don't just be on your bed. I also want to commend uh, uh, the, 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 I also have seen Chanda Chimba, my friend, John Chanda Chimba, my friend. <laughs> Uh, I, I also want to commend the UPND. They have really gone on the ground. They, they have gone on the ground. They, you know, they, 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 are, they are flat out on the ground, shaking the ground everywhere in Luapula, here and there. It's commendable. Those of you that have not yet gone on the ground, what are you waiting for? Go on the ground. Don't wait for HH to go on the ground for you. Go on the ground and start telling people how Edgar Lungu has failed. The people of Zambia in town. Go on the ground. Go to the villages. I'm telling you. Go to the villages. Go. Go and start telling the people. The failure that people are going through in town. Those people that they are planning to go and buy. During the election. Go and tell them. That they shouldn't be like Esau in the Bible that sold his birthright. Go. Don't wait for HH to do it. HH is a one man. He cannot go everywhere all the time. You, as a Zambian, that need to liberate your country. Go and start talking to the people right now. Any other question? Papa, say my name. I want to hear it. Ali Podav in Gambi. Thank you. Simon cause you blind one <laughs> stupidity is when someone thinks that see one is a satanist you must tell them because they have not seen satan before and they you know there are, there are people who say see one you are not a zambian but you want to talk about zambia how can a foreigner come and tell us something and we believe the Bible that you read today and believe it was written by a foreigner that you have never seen. But you read it and you believe it. Whatever the Bible says, you do it. It was written by a foreigner that you never saw with your eyes, but you believe it. You go to church every Sunday because of somebody, something that a foreigner wrote and gave to you. If a foreigner can write Bible and give to you and you believe it, and a, a foreigner wrote Bible in America, send it to Africa, you read it and believe it. What will stop your fellow brother, an African brother, from telling you something and believe it? <laughs> God can use anything if you, if you are a God believer. Anybody can speak the information. What is important is not where the information is coming from. What is important is, is the information true? Or is it false? Is Edigalungu a good leader? Or is not a good leader? Whatever Siawan is saying, has he lied? If I've lied, then you know. But if what I'm saying is the truth, why not use it? Whether it's coming from a foreigner. It's a foreigner that brought religion to you. You believe it. You believe in Jesus. You say, Jesus is my savior. But you have never seen Jesus. A foreigner wrote it and brought it to you. You believe it from the bottom of your heart. A foreigner gave you the information. You believe it from the bottom of your heart. So why don't you, if you see an African brother like Sia One as a foreigner, why don't you believe the truth that I'm telling you? Huh? <laughs> why don't you believe the truth that I'm telling you? <laughs> yes, believe the truth that I'm telling you. I'm not a foreigner. I am an African. You know, when, when a white man come to Africa, a, a, a white man came, and looked at a goat uh, 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 and say, okay, this thing is a goat. We believe it. We don't know the name, but we are calling it a goat. We believe it. A foreigner told us. There is a thing that I used to eat in Zambia. It's called impua. I used to love that, uh, that, uh, that thing, that vegetable so much. A white man comes and says, this impua is a garden egg. We believe it that it's garden egg. We don't even know what he means by garden egg. 
We believe it. He's a foreigner, but he has given us information and we have believed the information. What is wrong with C1 giving you information and you believe it? I am your African brother. I was in PF. I know what happened in PF more than any other person. Any other person at all. Why don't you believe me? Even your president, Eddie Galungu, he believes what I say. He copies what I say. Why don't you believe it as a cadre? Why do you call me a foreigner? <laughs> Why do you call me a foreigner? <laughs> so if you can believe things like this, take it. Believe me also. You know? Believe me also. We should we should learn to start appreciating ourselves as Africans. We should learn to start appreciating ourselves as Africans. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Like for example today, I met a, a, a lady who told me to say, Papa, look, I have been, uh, I've been um, HIV positive for, for 30 good years. I've never been on medicine and, you know, I'm okay. I said, do you know why you are okay? Why you have not died? It's because the information that white people gave to you, you didn't believe it. White people tells you and tells me that, you know, if you have this thing, you must use this medicine. They are the people that produce mm -hmm. the medicine. They know that once you are buying this medicine every day, it's not like, it's not like if they want to produce a cure for HIV, they will not produce it. In fact, they have it. Even if you make mistake today and say, I have found the cure for HIV, they will kill you. They will arrest you. Not because the cure is not there. The cure is there. But because they are making a lot of money. Imagine we are over uh, 600 million people are drinking medicine every day. How much are they making? How much is America making for producing ARV? Then you see that they give us information. Even if the information is wrong, we believe it. Because it's coming from a white person. Why don't you believe an information that is coming from a black person? An information that is not there to manipulate you. An information that is there to open your, your, your ears and open your eyes. Why do you call me a foreigner for telling you the truth? I am not a foreigner. I am giving you information. Thank you. Jagaban, you are a good person. Thank you. Jagaban, you always speak the truth. Emmanuel Bulaya. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Thank you for that. Also talk about the companies that were closed. If you can come back with that. We spoken. Thank you. Sia one, you are really our caring brother. Don't listen to those insulting you. Thank you. I believe you 100%. Thank you so much. See one, the names of the people that got powers from you haven't yet been revealed. Papa, don't worry about those saying whether you're a Satanist or not. <laughs> I look forward to the day you talk about Simon. <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the bullet I have, the only bullet I have now is reserved for important things, not for beds. That make noise. Cha -cha 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 I don't have time for. I the, my 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 bullet is for elephant, not for. I know the people I'm targeting. I'm not targeting some idiots from nowhere who are looking for relevance and attention. I don't. I don't have time to respond to him. Papa, do we need to trust PF ECZ control? The thing is that all the plan that PF is making to rig the election. It's here in my palm. And when I tell you that it won't work, believe me, it won't work. Forget it. <laughs> ah, man of wisdom, I love you. Thank you so much. Chan. You are not a foreigner, Papa. We are always behind you. Kidron, thank you. Always on point, my brother. Bisman Cello, thank you, Bisman. William Buyanda, thank you. Hello from Mwape Calabar. Thank you. Jagaban, continue to speak on our behalf, please. I will. Thank you. I have learned 
a lot since I started watching CR1. Of course, thank you. Many more wisdom are coming. Zambians would love to see you here again. In as much as they would love to see me and I would love to see them, but it's not possible. If a Zambian want to see me, they can come to South Africa here and see me. I don't follow you for religion, but politically for the truth you speak, you are speaking. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for opening the eyes of Zambian people. You are a great kind of a good man. Thank you. That's see you one. My Buddha Bios for of Syria alone must go. I will remember him. There are so many useless African president that I'm going to attack badly. My main focus is to make sure that I remove Eddie Galongo because I was part. I am part of the mess that is going on in Zambia today. Once I remove him, my heart will be at peace, and then we can tackle any other African country. We love you, Jagaban. Our eyes are open. Christopher Perry, thank you. Good man, we say. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless. You. God bless you. We thank you. We thank God for you, Papa Nick in Gongo. Thank you. You give us good information, Lazarus Banda. Thank you so much. Mambepa Bualia. Thank you. God bless. You. I love you, my brother. See, I want Chabu. Thank you. Mm -hmm. God has a reason that he sent you. Margaret, I believe that. Thank you. You have opened the eyes of people of Africa. Kelvin Kalunga. Thank you so much. See, Awan, you are knowledgeable, my brother. Thank you so much. You are 100% true. Jacoban, NH. So, thank you so much. You are a true freedom fighter. God bless you. Nyawa Daka. God bless you. Jacoban, you are great. William, thank you so much. See, Awan, please never should you... Uh, accept never should you accept to be bribed by pf <laughs> no i'm above that william sakala okay you are a wise man thank you so much we love you because of the truth you speak our jagaban people insulting you are idiots of course they are see i want i'm sending a whatsapp test now greenland farms okay you can go ahead and send the whatsapp message immediately the program is done my number the only number that i have is there i've pinned it there uh, plus two seven seven eight nine nine three five one four four that is the only number that i have kwacha has dropped the economy is bad beyond edgar lungu is saying I'm, I'm i'm empowering the youth you empower the youth you give them money but there is no trading environment for them you kill them with high taxes. They import something with dollar, dollar swallow all the money. Then what, where is the empowerment? The greatest empowerment you can do for the youths is to stabilize the economy. Even if they have one kwacha, one kwacha becomes one kwacha. That is the greatest empowerment. Apart from that, there is nothing else. Jagaban hit PF the more. PF is gone. They are gone. There is nothing to talk. There is nothing to talk about anymore. Reality is what you speak. May God bless you and give you more wisdom. Thank you so much. Jay Israel is calling every prophet fake. I leave that one, please. No, that's that's see your one good. See your one go go. We love you. Thank you so much. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any representative anywhere. If you want anything from me, you the, the ring, do as I say for money, do as I say for marriage, what, what, what. Please send me a message on my number. Direct. My number is here. Apart from that number, I don't have any other number. Those of you that have been swindled all over the place because of CR1, be careful. I don't have any representative. If you are not talking to me on WhatsApp on that number, you are not talking to me. Be very, very careful. See, Awan, you are a great man. Thank you so much. See, Awan, you are central mouthpiece of Africa. I know. Thank you so much for that. Do you, you don't answer your WhatsApp. I answer. There are thousands upon thousands of WhatsApp messages that come in. When I get your turn, I'm going to answer you. Once you send me a message, you are going to receive. Listen, when you are sending me a message on WhatsApp and you want me to answer you, don't say hi or how are you. Don't greet me. 
Go straight to the point. What do you want? I don't have time for hi. How are you? Oh, you look good. Oh, you oh, you are this, oh, that. I don't have time for those things. I'm not a human being that entertains those things. When we are talking here, you can write those things. I thank you. But when you come on WhatsApp, don't come and say, hey, I love you. I don't, I, those things, I don't need them. Say what you want. See, I want, I want this. Say it, make it plain. I tell you what needs to be done for you to have what you want. That is how it is. I don't want, hi, how are you? Hey, you look good. You look cute. You look this, you look that. I don't have time for such rubbish in my life. Please. This man knows Zambia very well. We are following you. Thank you so much. Whether fake or real, this man speaks wisdom. Kelvin. Thank you. See, I want to be my spiritual father. You can only be a Jagaban. I am the leader of Jagaban. I lead Jagabans all over the world. You can join us and become a Jagaban so that you become great in life. You always motivate me. Thank you so much. Open a more see one. We love you. <laughs> I will. Thank you. I want to be a Freemason. I don't know anything about Freemason. I don't. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I've never been there. I've written a lot of tests, but you don't respond. Try and send me a test again, if not this night after this program, or you send it later. Tapiwa Muyuki. Love you, Siawan. My son, how are you? I love you more. Where have you been? I have missed you. Thank you so much. It's good to be a Jagaban, of course. 100% follow God bless you. See a one. The world is one global village, so you have the right to speak. Of course, you are the best, Daddy. Tapiwa Muyuki. Thank you, my son. I love you so much. Nice one. Keep it up. See a one. You are the best. Peter Katebe. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you. Jagaban himself, Amakan Kata. Mm, God bless. Nico, can you beat Bowman Sambo? <laughs> He's a baby. Don't know nothing. See, I want you to look cute. Vanessa, thank you, Vanessa. I'm sure you are a Zambian. See, I'm a poor. If you're a satanist, you're a good satanist because you say the truth. Thank you so much for that. That's good. You look cute, see your one. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. See your one, you are good. I believe we have learned a lot tonight. I want to say that I love you so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. If you have not liked the page, Dawn of Power, always speaking the truth. I am the Dawn of Power in Africa. Thank you for reminding us. You are wise. Nelson Daka, thank you. Scatter the witches in my family. We are tired. Send me a message on my WhatsApp. Let me tell you what to do. I believe we have spoken enough tonight. I want to say that I love you all from the bottom mm -hmm. of my heart. May God bless you. And wait for the next broadcast. Bye. Mm -hmm.